so in yeah. uh, your redundancy you don't have any configuration ideally what yes. we need to do here rishi both mm -hmm. of these should have same ios okay mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. subnet configuration should be same mm -hmm. so just unshare your screen let me share my screen stop sharing your screen okay let me you know just quickly describe about it. so what happened is you can have two x uh, sorry two wlcs mm -hmm. okay on mm -hmm. these two wlcs there can be a redundant port rp which mm -hmm. you need mm -hmm. to connect with each other mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and for your redundancy mm -hmm. the ios should be same on both of the device mm -hmm. second the subnet configuration should be same on the both of the device mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are you getting my point yeah yeah, yeah. so we can place these two wlc on the same location or we can put on the different location also that doesn't matter but this mm -hmm. rp port this redundant port right mm -hmm. the rp port of the wlc should be connected mm -hmm. okay okay and it can be go till 100 meter and your ethernet cable standard Now, if you see the licensing part, mm -hmm. what happened is, let us say you have fifty license on the WLC one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can mm -hmm. have fifty WLC uh, on WLC two also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you can say you have five hundred here, APs, right? Mm -hmm. Now here at least you can go for two fifty. Let us mm -hmm. say two fifty mm -hmm. are for the guests. Okay, mm -hmm. those who are not very important, they can mm -hmm. hamper for some time. If this is down, they will latch to the WLC two. Mm -hmm. Or you can activate the evaluation license as you are doing in your environment. Mm -hmm. See, when you have these two things in the redundancy, they will keep on sending, keep alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these messages will be sent every hundred millisecond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Default timer to check the health of your active WLC, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they will keep track of their gateway also, gateway reachability. Mm -hmm. ICMP message they will send. Mm -hmm. Okay, so both right. WLC right. will send your ICMP ping to the gateway at one second mm -hmm. interval. <laughs> okay. So this are uh, it is highly recommended mirrored, right? to have back to back directly connectivity between your redundant port. Okay. And, and both the uh, WLCs are uh, are mirrored, right? Same, same, same configuration. Ah, uh, yeah, it should be same. Can you show me on your screen how you do the WLC configuration, high H H configuration on your on your side? Okay. Which which tab is it? I didn't perform it, but it is very easy. Let us say if I am going on. Okay, I didn't. Yeah, can you just this. show me on your on your. I didn't uh, enable WC. this. I didn't enable this, but it is very easy. What you need to do, you need to go to the controller. Under okay. Under the controller, you go to your redundancy. Okay. In the redundancy, you just need to put what is your primary. ip what is your secondary ip <laughs> but as i told you h is by default disabled before you enable it it is mandatory to configure your redundant management ip address and the peer address <laughs> okay both interface should be in the same subnet as i told <laughs> okay one will be configured as the primary second will be configured as the secondary <laughs> okay so very simple configuration you will just put the management ip of your uh, your device and the other device okay getting my point okay can i share my yeah i got it, i got it. can i share my screen wait for a while okay so so far is there any doubt no doubt no doubt no doubt no doubt no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. if you go to the controller 
Here, can you see this redundancy? Yeah, yeah. There, can you see this global configuration? Yes. This there, you need to put your management IP address, which is this. Okay. This is peer, which may be the second peer. Okay. And okay. then this is your port IP, redundant port IP, RP. So here mm -hmm. you will need to put your own and the secondary will be the secondary one. So it can okay. be non routable. It's not required that it should be the routable only. And okay. then if you go into the monitor, mm -hmm. here, uh, 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 okay, because you don't have the redundancy configured, you don't able to see here one more field will come redundancy. And there you can mm -hmm. check the statistics of the redundancy when you will configure the redundancy. Okay. Got my point? Yes, yes, yes. I got it. I got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So just uh, you're going to the controller and then see global configuration. So I put the management IP of uh, the primary, secondary here. Then you put the redundancy port IP of the primary, secondary, same subnet, right? Right. Okay. And then you put uh, this primary and secondary, then you put the MAC address of the controller here. That's it. Simple. That's it. Okay. Very simple. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah. So management IP here would be uh, 232.11 uh, because it's HA. And if uh, you, if you be the, login into the CLI, you can check the show redundancy summary. Where, where? In the CLI, you can run show mm -hmm. redundancy summary. Okay, okay. Let me see summary. Okay. If you okay. open the CLI, you can check show redundancy summary. Okay, sure. Can I, can I do that? Uh -huh. Login, login, see. Okay. When you login here, okay, in the CLI. So, give me a minute. I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. You put the username and password. Okay, maybe yeah, I, one second, one I second, took one the telnet. Please second. go with the SSH, okay? Yes, yes, one second. No, no, wait, okay. Okay. What's the command again? Show redundancy survey. Uh, so, sorry, summary. Show redundancy. R E D U. Uh, redundancy. Okay. Put the tab. Okay. Uh, summary. Enter. Can you see this? Hmm. Redundant port is down. Oh. Okay. Local state is enabled. SSO is disabled. Mm -hmm. So it's not. And MAC address should be the MAC address. It's not in the HA. Here. It's not in the HA. Okay. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. I got it, got it, got it, got it. So they have not configured properly then, huh? No. Is it? So these yes, are sir? not configured. Yeah. So this is not configured. Okay. Active and uh, unit ID would be the MAC address of the primary controller, which is 222.10, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But redundancy port is done. That means they're not configured redundancy. HA. Right? Yeah. Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Are you able to hear me? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So basically, they have not configured uh, redundancy here, right? That's true. 
right? Because you have the local state, but you've not configured the deterrent support, right? Mm -hmm. And the uh, MAC address here is the MAC address of the uh, controller, which is 6C.41655, right? MAC address of the uh, this controller, right? Active controller, right? Yes. Okay. That's not configured. Yeah. So basically, what is happening is that you just kind of put the management port of the uh, thing, management port, redundancy port, okay? Uh, redundancy port would be the IP address of the redundancy port, and peer would be the IP address of the HA, same subnet, and that's it. And put the MAC address and submit. That's it, right? Right, right. right. Okay, all right, all right. So if you go to show, it'll be summary. See, this is this also you can get so happy summary <coughs> you can yeah, put yeah, right yeah right so let's show you all the uh, access points uh -huh. it will. Okay. so you will see here ap name country california see it was california right is it no canada canada okay. canada, canada yes canada. what okay. will be this one so let's take a 10 minute break now and then we will okay sure we will proceed okay further so, uh, so one thing. Um, so basically, uh, layer three is only for guest access, right? Mm. Right. So guest access web policy only for guest access. We put yeah. this here. Okay. Authentication by, by, uh, guest only for guest access. Right. Is it through the captive portal or without the captive portal? Uh, it can be uh, captive portal or without captive portal. Okay, okay, I got it. So it can be captive portal or without packet portal web policy. Mm. Okay, okay. And basically, if you go to security here, and you go to Mac filtering, okay. So you can create a filter here because you can create a new filter and any any Mac address. Uh, uh, any 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 client MAC address wants to join any of the WLAN, any of the SSID, you can put it here, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. MAC address is the client, right? Okay. And then then it will go to uh, security, web auth, and then they will go to the web login page with the username and password. That's it, right? Right. Now let me show yeah. you one, one thing, okay? Stop sharing okay. the screen. Mm -hmm. Do let me know if my screen is visible to you. Okay, one second. Is it visible? Yes, yes, visible, yeah. See, what now I am telling you that now wireless is literally got changed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we are having iOS XE. Mm -hmm. Right. What is this? Mm -hmm. A Linux based your architecture for your modern networking or maybe you can say more automation mm -hmm. or maybe you can say for wireless. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. in our uh, like day to day world, I will mm -hmm. say this is really very efficient, reliable and scalable. Okay. And Cisco is now using Cisco iOS XE, which is a game changer. Why? Mm -hmm. Because it combined both the best of the world, the traditional Cisco IOS also, and it just uh, you you can use it as a wireless also. Both you can use. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just give me a minute. Somebody is calling me. Just a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes. Hey, Amrin. Tell me. Uh, Amari, I will give you your number to the team ko, and she will contact you, okay? Thank you. Thank you. So what I was saying is that now Cisco IOS XE is really mm -hmm. what evolving and on the same device, you can do both of the things. Like you can have, it is a bit like your modular switch here, right? Mm -hmm. Like you are aware I, I on the ISR 
for the asr we are supporting the hd1 also no mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. similarly here also everything is changed so mm -hmm. what i mean to say now just try to understand there is one box this is a mm -hmm. switch on this switch mm -hmm. there is wireless capacity capacity also okay mm -hmm. there is let us say layer 2 also there is let us say layer 3 also same device mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but every capacity is introduced on the same so that is mm -hmm. how your ios xc is introduced and it is literally a game changer mm -hmm. got this point now okay. let me go with the next picture you will understand more here you see this in the you know earlier maybe 5 6 years back or more than that cisco was used to give this quotation one network mm -hmm. with converged access mm -hmm. what does that mean can you see here 3850 mm -hmm. am i audible yes yes go ahead okay so what happened is earlier there was wired and wireless solution or uh, separate all together right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but now mm -hmm. in case of the converged access solution both are putting into the same so wireless can be one layer itself rather than uh, going to the core and maybe you know distribution then core and then coming back so cisco think that it's not a good idea why not to terminate the cap up tunnel at at once on the access layer itself even mm -hmm. you can see talk about your eye solution which is for your identification and the access management okay mm -hmm. that is also now replacing the very different dedicated solutions which cisco was using earlier and mm -hmm. they have enabled their cisco prime also to a level that now it can manage both the wired and wireless both solution so here what happened is in your ios xe there is your linux and linux based some daemons introduced okay mm -hmm. so like you talk about uh, here here if you see you know in this picture this is let us say on the access layer okay mm -hmm. on this access layer you can see access point is there can you see mm -hmm. now access point is connected to this switch connected to this right this is your ap mm -hmm. Right. So if you talk about earlier, what happened is from AP, maybe to the core or to the different, uh, you know, location, mm -hmm. your cap web tunnel will get created till there. Mm -hmm. Yes mm -hmm. or no? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Now mm -hmm. it's not required. Your cap web tunnel will be terminated on the access switch itself. Okay. Got it. get, getting my point? Got it, got it, got it. Got it. So your 3850 so uh, or 3650. So the controller is uh, integrated within the switch. Yes, 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 yes. So I don't need a dedicated wireless controller. It's indicated. You, it's a, you required, within the switch. You you required. Okay, but wait for a while. I, let me come yeah. to that point. Okay. Hmm. So this is your industry first fully integrated wired and wireless switch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and in mm -hmm. you can put into the stacks also. So mm -hmm. you are aware about stack stacking? Yeah, yeah. So you can just have one, two, three, four, like or eight switches under the stacks, right? Mm -hmm. So you can put it into the stacks also. So your mm -hmm. 3850 is the common solution for your wired and wireless, and it support the stacking. So this is an integrated wireless solution where your cap web tunnel can be terminated. Okay. Okay. So the operational no complexity is reduced now. You can say. Mm. Mm -hmm. So for the same, we should have you know uh, IP base uh, like you can say license is there, which is requisite. Mm. Okay. But you can have controller also even after this kind of setup. So if you see one policy, one policy is for what? This one policy is for your wired and wireless both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One management is for what? For your manage, uh, sorry, wired and wireless. Getting mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now the trend is changed. Cisco iOS X is introducing a lot of things. Now let me just jump to the second picture. Here you can see the mobility architecture in the converged access. So this is named as converged access. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here you can see 
these 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 switches are uh, having the you know the wired wired or the wireless both are terminating mm. on these switches the access layer mm. getting my point yes yes so it is doing all of the things mm -hmm. all together let me just jump okay. to the next point so here you can see that if we need to just enable it okay uh, like in your controller so let us say see now how your controller existing controller like you have 5500 of the controller right mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. it will be able to understand that i have the the tunnel will not terminate to me but there on the access layer itself it will get terminated on 3850 mm -hmm. let us say so you need to mm -hmm. enable this configuration on your 5500s uh, wlc okay mm -hmm. you go in the global configuration here under the mobility management you need to you know do the uh, like proper image upgrade and you can just tick mark this mm -hmm. for the converged access getting my point okay so you can then check the show mobility summary or you can configure this but it required a reboot please be noted mm -hmm. now let me go ahead here you can see the same thing it is showing converged wired and wireless is there okay benefit can be single platform for wired and wireless common ios so same administration point one release which means that if you need to upgrade the ios you need not to apply on the wired and wireless separately if you have 3850 okay you are doing on this it will get done for the both wired and wireless right are you with me yes yes similarly you can say network wide visibility so for troubleshooting also you need not to go to on different different device on the same device you can do it right security or the qs if you need to apply it you are applying it here it will be get applied on both of the wired and wireless both so resiliency if you talk about scalability you talked about scalability how in the stack it can be having up to 480 gps you know uh, like or 40 gig wireless you can have the speed so in scalability is also there so these converged solution is literally uh, like was very much welcomed in the market so you can see here this is your switch and these are under the stacking can you see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hello am i audible yes you are audible yes yes so that is what it is showing you like how you can go with the you know switches and up to 50 aps you can have or 2000 clients per stack you can uh, able to right. handle. 